do you support or what are your thoughts about reparations uh, for you know the ADOS community? Mm -hmm. So the short answer is yes, but I want to talk about what it means. All right, let's do it. Look, I, I know that this is not this date isn't set in stone, but a lot of people view August 20, 2019 as the 400th anniversary of the first African brought to America as a slave. Wow. Did you know that? Within, I, 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 within I hear a week. You. Yeah, there's this big um, return movement happening yeah. right now. There is no way to think about 400 years of explicit legal race-based race prejudice and exploitation and think, okay, let's forget that ever happened, let's go from there out. Hmm. So when we think about repairing that and getting past that, what I've said is what's proposed in Congress is that we do a study of how it happened so we can do a study of how to redress it. Hmm. And it's, I think the actual study, I think people will be frustrated because they feel like everyone should know that. Right. But in fact, everybody doesn't know it. And retelling the story truthfully of America hmm. and of the people who built America and of the contributions and leadership that the African-American community has provided for hundreds of years, particularly on a moral basis for this whole country, hmm. is something that needs to be retold and re-emphasized so we get a different story of America. Wow, how do you, how do you push that, that, that uh, conversation even further beyond the study? Because we know the outcome of the study. A, a basic look at American history is gonna say, yes, yes, wrongs were done, but then there's gonna get all of this how-to stuff. Um, would you stand flat-footed and, and, and look folks in the eye and you know, really advocate on behalf of the ADOS community? I don't think there's any question. The only, but I think there is a real question in this, that understanding how it happened and what it meant is also going to guide the right way to solve it. Hmm. And if you don't do the study, people have got to go through that process together of confronting the past so that they can come up with a thoughtful and fair way to resolve hmm. the past and move forward. You know, there's this acronym that ADOS and folks get really confused in terms of like who's going to get in line, who's, who's, who's um, old, who's not and all that. Um, talk to me a little bit about perhaps your understanding of that acronym ADOS. Well, I know it's about the people who are the descendants of slaves. Mm. And so the question in here is going to, and, and part of this is going to be going through really what that meant on wow. a granular basis for families and for people and for communities. Wow. Because if you look just at the United States in the last 40 years and you look at what's happened in the criminal justice system, it's been a system which has been shockingly racially unjust mm -hmm. where there has been the system has been used completely disproportionately unfairly unequally with outcomes that are when you step back and look at it incredibly destructive wow and it, you know you look at how many people we incarcerate versus any other advanced society hmm. 7x wow if you look at what that means and what people get incarcerated for and the cost of that on a human basis and the cost of that in terms of the lost productivity for society and you know just human lives and money wow it's so it, it is an obviously wrong understanding of how to deal with human beings and get the best from them 